Hello YouTube! It is Toy Adventures here again with another figure review and today as promised in last time's uh, Ford Explorer review. Guys, today we are taking a look at the brand new Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape Stomp and Escape Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, this is a really cool figure for a number of reasons. Uh, one of the first is that it is a remold of the epic Roaring T-Rex, which is to date my favorite mold of Tyrannosaurus, so that's cool. Uh, and biggest yet, it is including capture gear, which has been missing from this line since, um, I believe, the Lost World. Uh, technically, yeah. I mean, I guess you could count, like, the little dinosaur re-releases, but, you know, truly, they were innovated last in the Lost World, so... <laughs> It's nice to, really nice to see them come back again, and I wonder what it means. Surely if it's tied to the show, it's gotta mean something. So, taking a look at the box here first, we have a really nice, uh, you know, new packaging for the Camp Cretaceous toy line coming forward. You have a nice picture of Toro right here at the side, a nice picture of Darius right here. There's Dino Escape, Stomp and Escape T-Rex. So it seems like for capture gear, what you get is a muzzle or a headpiece, and I believe this goes on the back of the neck. Anyway, so taking a look here at the back of the packaging, it shows off what gimmick this figure has. So basically this T-Rex can stomp and walk, which is really cool. It's a, definitely a new gimmick. Uh, it has roars and everything, the usual for a T-Rex, and then it can break out of its capture gear. And down here you have the Scorpius Rex. Still have yet to find that. But other than that, I think that is about it. Next review. So we do have another review coming soon enough. I just found these yesterday. Really happy to find these. I got my big bumpy now. And I have at least Limbo. I still gotta get the Ceratosaurus. Uh, so, still gonna find him. But those are up next. Anyway, as for this guy, let's go ahead and get him out of the box. Okie duck. So here we have everything that comes in the box. You have your T-Rex and your two pieces of capture gear. Now I'm assuming it just goes on like that. We'll put this on in a minute, so we'll put that aside. First, I want to take a look at our brand new T-Rex. Now, it's hard to get excited because Mattel releases a bajillion T-Rexes every year. So it's, uh, you know, this one's kind of up against a ton of competition. Well, it already has a big advantage being a remold of the epic Rowan T-Rex, at least in my opinion. Unfortunately, it's not quite an improvement figure-wise, and I'll get into that in a bit. My, But the, the thing that I think that this figure does better than the original epic Rowan, because there is something it does better in, and that's the paint. This figure has an amazing paint job. Uh, it's just so nicely done. It, I mean... My mom, as soon as she saw it, she said, this looks like a custom. You know, it didn't even look like a real Mattel figure because it just looks so nice. So this paint scheme is definitely doing it for me. I really like it. And it's probably one of, if not my favorite of the uh, Rexes, just because it looks so different. This actually looks like the female from the Lost World as opposed to being Rexy. This genuinely looks more like the female from the Lost World. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend that's what it's supposed to be, especially with all this capture gear. So that's really cool. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, close my eyes. I'm not gonna listen to anyone. Anyone says la 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 la. This is the lost world. This is based on the lost world, and I will not accept any other answers. You can tell me whatever you want. You're wrong. Okay. Getting on to the gimmick. So what this figure is known for is the twisting the tail and it stomps. Boom, 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 boom. You get, you get a better view of that. Boom, 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 boom. So basically, as you turn the tail from left to right, he'll, she'll stop. As you can see, let me get you a better view of the other side. Because in the box, only one of the legs works, but as soon as you take it out of the box, both legs start working. So that's a really, really unique gimmick. Like that is something we have not seen at all in this toy line. And I gotta give it huge props for that, just because it's so original and unique. And uh, another huge benefit to this action feature... He's not gonna get loose anytime soon. 
this figure I can see lasting the test of time because its, it's gimmick is naturally going to want to revert it back to the uh, base stance. You're not going to have any trouble having this figure stand up on a shelf for ever. Just because of the action gimmick, this thing will not have loose thighs where it always, you know, kind of falls down on its face that you see with uh, especially the first epic roaring T-Rex. That is actually a problem it suffers from. So I'm really happy that this one improved on that and uh, you won't be having issues standing this Rex up at all. So that's a huge plus. Very happy about that. Thank you, Mattel. And uh, let's get to its other, sorry, my uh, stand keeps getting knocked by my chair. So taking a look at its other action gimmick, you have a really nice roaring feature when you press the button down here. The whole body kind of lifts up and it roars. Now, this is the action gimmick I don't like. And because, because of this action gimmick, we it's like a blood sacrifice. We had to sacrifice the entire articulation in the neck and body so the head can lift up and roar. Whoa! Whoa! Come on, Mattel, really? You took away everything going on in the neck so he can look up and roar? That's one of the things I don't really like about this line is that each figure is like based and forced around a gimmick. And that gimmick always gets in the way of just it being an action figure. It's been like that since the beginning. We have never gotten a truly perfect Rex because they all have some gimmick that ruins something. Is it so much to ask to get a T-Rex that won't have standing issues? Like keep the feet one, keep the, the stomping feature. That's so cool, but give us an articulated upper body Maybe sound effects, they don't have to be there. And then just leave it. You don't need to add these crazy gimmicks that limit so much movement. Like, you can't even twist it side to side. There's no side to side movement. This thing can stand forward and only forward. It is bad, very, very bad. I'm not cutting them slack anymore. This is just terrible. This is one step forward and about five steps back in terms of engineering of these toys. The paint's great, the, 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 you know, the main gimmick is awesome, but this, you could easily have uh, uh, introduced this, this thrashing the armor gimmick and not sacrifice every articulation point in the body, you know what I mean? It's just, um, sadly decided to say that all this armor is gonna go give, be given to the extreme roaring because at least that one can move around more than one, you know, two directions, so. That is my biggest gripe with this figure, is it's a brick. Aside from the legs, it's a brick. So if you like brick dinosaur toys that don't do nothing, you'll like this one. But if you're like me, who likes articulation, this is kind of a disappointment. So, putting the, let's go ahead and put the uh, capture gear on and see how good this gimmick works. Hopefully this works. So, uh, put it on like this. Okay, so you slip it on from the front like there. Clip it on right there, and then I can already tell that just like the Lost World capture gear, this stuff's super loose because it needs to be so it can be escaped easily. So there is her with her capture gear on, looking pretty cool. I gotta admit, pretty cool. So it definitely looks captured, although uh, I don't think she's quite subdued. One thing I am noticing is that with the extra added weight of this head, it, it does kind of drag the figure down just a little bit. As you can see, there's its base stance and then it kind of like falls a little bit. So that might be a problem over time. So maybe Mattel really didn't solve any problems here. And maybe they just keep adding onto them. Who knows? But let's see its main action gimmick. So you take the button, I almost took the tail, and you... Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I gotta admit, that's pretty cool. That's classic, you know, Lost World kind of action gimmick where like the, the you know, clearly the, the capture gear is not on that tight because if it was, those dimes would not hang out. But it's just so satisfying seeing them break out. So I gotta admit, I like that. And that's what's so, you know, tears me about this Rex is that there's so much good and then there's just so much bad. The paint is awesome. The, the capture gear, it's so cool. The, the, the stomping gimmick, that's new, that's inv innovative. But the front half of the body is just Stone Age. It's Stone Age. This is like 
Ugh. All right, so to kind of uh, emphasize my point here to you guys, because I know some of you may not know exactly what the uh, extreme roaring is. So here is the extreme roaring T-Rex, the Rex figure that this one is based off of. And uh, as you can see, this one clearly has the better paint. Uh, this one looks very, very dull and just uh, <laughs> almost unfinished. Yeah, if you guys have been here, you guys kind of know that uh, I'm not a big fan of Mattel's lazy paint jobs. So, putting that aside, let's uh, let's let's you know, let's not beat a dead horse. This is what I'm talking about. So, here's the articulation on our new Rex. The jaw moves. Cool. Body goes up, and that's it. Literally, that's its articulation joint. The legs can move, but they're on a gimmick, so they don't hold the pose. And the arms can rotate. There's your articulation on him. Him, you get the jaw, the neck right here, the neck at the base of the neck. Now, to be fair, I will say this, you can't hold the pose because it's it's a gimmick. But I love this figure's gimmick so much, so unbelievably much, that I'm going to just ignore it. First of all, it's the best gimmick I still think we've gotten because the puppeteering in this figure is just unmatched. If we could get the upper body of this and then the lower body of him, it would be the perfect T-Rex. Mattel, there's your idea. You wanna, you wanna finally make a perfect T-Rex to squash the others? Give us the mold of him, the paint of her. I guess they're both hers. Give us the, <laughs> give it the mold of her, the paint of her, the, the leg gimmick of her, but the body of her. And there's your perfect T-Rex. You have the stomping, and then you have the amazing puppeteering. Look at this. So I think it still goes without saying that this is gonna be, for now and probably for a long time, my favorite Mattel Rex, hands down. The Epic Roan has not been beaten. This one's close, because of the, the, the other gimmicks, but it, it's just a brick. Um, Figure-wise, I honestly think that if you have the Epic Roaring T-Rex, you're buying this set for the capture gear and to put this on the shelf because this will be a shelf-stable Rex for a while. Well, this one, the original isn't so bad, my original, but like my custom bull Rex of this is, <laughs> will not stand at all. You have to prop it up against something. So technically it does have standing issues, but my default one is still perfectly fine. So maybe it's, you know, fault on the error, so. Since we pretty much took a look at everything this Rex can do, literally, we've done it all and there's no need to do size comparisons because it's the same size as this one. Now, there are uh, differences in the sculpt, but you can easily tell that they used this one as kind of like a reference because it's just, they're, they're so similar in, in uh, proportions and, and sculpt-wise, but different bodies. So that's why I, I call it the, the rebirth of the Epic Roaring when it's technically not, but I'm gonna go that way because they do look so similar. So, there's something I wanted to know as soon as I saw this Rex, because I always knew that this Rex was going to be kind of a brick. I, as soon as I saw the pictures and I saw the articulation, I'm like, oh, cool. It can't do anything. Capture gear, though. So, we're going to see if this figure's capture gear can fit on this Rex, so you can kind of get the best of both worlds. All right, so, you just, uh, the way you attach this capture gear, by the way, is there is a peg right here and there is a peg or slots down here you're gonna want to put it like that and then push it in and it should just click into place and then you just right over the head and then you put the neck brace right there all right so it does kind of work the neck on this one's a little too thick. So it doesn't quite sit snug on there. And when it does, it breaks it. But I wanna see, okay, so you know, this Rex's gimmick is good at breaking out of it, but I have a hunch that this Epic Roaring's gimmick is going to throw this capture gear to the moon, which will further emphasize, not only is this a better figure, this is a better Rex at doing what this Rex should be doing. So let's go ahead and test that out. Let's test my little theory out. 
So here's the capture gear and it's... Gone. Absolutely gone. Guys, I hate to be a hater. You know, you guys know I don't like being a hater, but I have to say what's being, what has to be said. The Epic Roaring is still unbeaten. I still think you should get this Rex just for the capture gear and because this will be a beautiful shelf piece, I have to admit. This is a much better shelf piece. This will look much better on your shelf. It'll stand longer and it has the capture gear. So if you're looking for a shelf piece, I think this is a good Rex. But if you want a toy Rex, you cannot go wrong with the Epic Roarin. Unfortunately, I don't think the Epic Roarin's in too many stores again anymore. It was like everywhere for a little bit and then gone completely. That's how a lot of Jurassic World big dinosaurs are, like the Spinosaurus and stuff. You see them everywhere. They're flooded, just overloaded at stores, and then they're gone. Never seen again. It's just how it is. You never see them again. So. Uh, if you guys can find him, I would suggest picking him up. If you guys can find him, I would still say pick him up. I mean, we're talking about comparing an awesome T-Rex toy to a good T-Rex toy. I don't want to say this one's terrible. Um, I probably said that a million times in this review, but what I mean by that is that it's terrible compared to what we've gotten uh, previously. I mean, this was such an upgrade, and then this is just such a, a step back in terms of cool figure-wise that it, it's, it is terrible that they've done that. I really think they should have kept all the, the top body of him and then give us the, the leg gimmick and the capture gear from him. Uh, I still I think the capture gear is a wonderful idea and I'm super happy that they're rolling it out again. I can't wait to see what else comes. I want that card on the sword so bad. And um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I had to say about this figure. It's good. Uh, the T-Rex the figure itself, which is pre that's pretty much what you're paying for, is subpar compared to what we've gotten in the past, especially with this. Um, to be honest, if I want to be brutal right now, and I'm going to be brutal, so, you know, brace yourselves. I think that the, the epic throw-in, or the thrash and throw, is better than this one, just because it's better gimmick. I judge these based on how they are as toys. And, uh, you know, as my child self, how would I want to play with these? And which T-Rex would I pick up to play with as a kid? Um, and that's how you should judge these because they're toys for kids. Um, this one wins. You know, if, if this was an amber collection, then I would obviously be focusing on the better sculpt and the better paint. And then this one would have won. But even if it's amber collection, that also focuses on, arti on articulation. So, ugh, this guy just actually doesn't win in anything. So... Uh, sadly enough, this is a pretty big meh Rex. The sculpt and paint is great, but everything else is meh. I mean, this will look great in pictures where it's just standing still. It will look amazing. I mean, you can just tell from this lighting, it looks so mean. I gotta admit, it does have a good shelf presence. It looks like a mean T-Rex, but you won't be playing with it too much, doing too much dynamic stuff with it. It is a brick. So, Mattel, if you're watching, I know I kind of uh, drag you guys to the mud to this video, but I love you guys, so I want you to listen to this part. If you don't listen to anything in this video, please just listen to this one last part. All you need to do to completely make the perfect T-Rex, you guys are so close, on the cusps of glory here, edge of glory, all you have to do is give us this paint job and sculpt, this leg gimmick, because I absolutely love it. I love the stomping. It's so unique and it makes the leg strong. Capture gear, nostalgic, cool. Add some more playability to your already play playable T-Rex. But give us the puppeteering and, and play gimmick of this Rex. Articulated neck, you know, puppeteering gimmick, roars. I mean, this one has roars too, but you know what I mean. You know, the, the, the head shakes. I, I truly believe it. The upper body of him, lower body of, of, of him, and you have the perfect T-Rex toy, Mattel, and it's so easy to do. Do that, and you will never need to make another T-Rex toy in your life. You would have reached perfection. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Scorpius Rex, we're still hunting that down. Same with the Kakarodontosaurus and the Stegosaurus. So uh, do expect those reviews soon enough. And because uh, I know a lot of you begging for the Scorpius Rex, a movie, a review, anything with the Scorpius Rex. Guys, I'm hearing you, okay? I know. I still haven't watched season three, though. And I don't have a figure. But when I do, I will make a movie about it. 
I promise you guys, okay? So, that's my personal opinion. I want to know your guys' personal opinions down in the comments. Do you guys like this, Rex? Does it do it for you? Or are you like me where the articulation being non-existent just kind of kills the fun? Uh, definitely let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for Bumpy and uh, Limbo. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is the Toy Adventures, signing out.